All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Paddy, and this is the live show today, and we've got a lot coming up. Oh my goodness, yes, we have. But before we start, ooh, look at all these subscribers coming in. Woohoo! Yep, thank you. If you're a subscriber, please check out this nice video. Um, everyone says thank you so much. For those that don't like our long format videos, these are our highlight reels. They give you a good impression of how we, th you know, what we thought of these big, the big four this week. And um, if you see a love letter, this means we were gushing for this Kickstarter when it came out and it's up for late pledge. That's what a love letter is. It's up for late pledge. And we tell you exactly why it's so good here. Also, the Kickstarter of the week went to Dido's Riding Dinos, but that does not say that these other three last week were not as good. In fact, if Dino's Riding Dinos gets a 10 out of 10, Ethia, Sea of Legends, and Adventures in Neverland put them at a 9.5. It was an amazing week last week. I don't want to say anything worse from these. In fact, there's a big pop. The big one is Sea of Legends versus Adventures in Neverland. We'll be looking at. We'll be doing a special of that within two weeks to um, put them head to head. So if you can only back one of them, we'll show you the differences and hopefully that'll let you decide. But we're still waiting for Sea of Legends to knock out its Kickstarter plans because it's still early on and there's a lot to show us in the campaign according to the devs. So. Excited to see that, and of course, ne Adventures in Neverland is still kicking out amazing stretch goals too. So that's very good. And um, and yeah, Ethia, what can I say about that? Fantastic too. But you know, we can't back everything. We we are living in the real world. Well, some of us are. <laughs> Not unless you're a super backer and you can you back gazillion Kickstarters. Well, let's head to our first one. We are looking at the defense <clears throat> of Prokeon the Third. It's a strange title because you think that this is the third in the game, a bit like um, you know, a bit like something that has two games before it, like it's a sequel of sorts. But I, I, I don't think it is, is it? <laughs> Anyway, it's David Chertsey here, and he is he's all over Kickstarter at the minute. I mean, did he plan? I don't think he planned this, but all the <laughs> see, there are a lot of Kickstarters. Which, if you look in Volungar channel, this guy's names come up quite a lot um, this last few weeks. Anyway, m Mr. Chertsey, let's have a look at this. So. It is a, certainly an interesting design, and it's coming from um, PC, PSC, Plastic Soldier Company games. And um, I wish that they did a special license that was called uh, PSC Deluxe Games for their Kickstarter games, because that might get more attention. We've won Pledge and a solid 80. It comes with stretch goals and a Mothership Mini which is <laughs> coronavirus. Yeah, excuse me. Which is a nice pledge, actually. We're getting it all in here. It says the MSRP, MSRP is going to be £100, which is a lot. This is a very big box from um, the Plaster Soldier Company game, so... Um, essentially, there's two fights going on here simultaneously. There is one going on in space, and look at this spaceport! It looks great! I love this! I do. Really gives it that um, cool look, because they could have just gone with a black background, which a lot of space games are doing, which is just dull. There is obviously gases in space and nebula, so this looks very cool. Also, the, the planet board. Oh, they're calling it the ground board. Looks very cool as well. Yes. Oh, so the the aliens are attacking you. Um, so there's a there's a battle going on in space, and there's a battle going down on the planet. 
as there's um, an invasion going on. But interestingly, if you play two by if you play four player, one can do space versus space and one can do ground versus ground. You can split it up like that, which is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> now the human ground forces is quite of a strange look of these um, minis, isn't it? I can't remember seeing a, a mini taken from its elevation. Um, no isometric angle. Um, but yeah, they he this guy's not looking. You know, he could just be looking looking at someone talking to them. This guy is more dynamic. He's getting ready to shoot. Um, the colonel here is he throwing something? A grenade or something? Uh, the doctor here, no. You know, well, the coat swishing around, which is cool. And um, Mr. Keller here, love this one. Dynamic, got. His base designed, looking like he's going to rip something out. And um, Mac here, like the beret on these as well. The nice hat, like Colonel's cowboy hat. You've got the little soldier hat here. It, it, <clears throat> they do look good. They have been criticised over the minis in the past, but um, this is certainly early. This is not coming for another year. So they have certainly got time to uh, impress us, you know. These wound cards look really nice. I like it how they're specific to each of the units also. That's nice. We don't know if they are different. You know, if there's four cards here, are we getting three different wound cards for each of them? Um, we don't know. And... Um, but because they're specific to each character, I'm wondering how, you know, are they getting injured differently? This is a really nice mechanic, perhaps, here that they're cooking up here. Uh, some nice tactic cards, and there's no dice rolling in this game, it is all card combat, and um, you can see here you can put these things on the board, um, these pylons are, you know, Absorption fields, shielding, electricity defense, buildings here, and deflector tokens. <clears throat> nice here, oh, you've got these pylon upgrades, you're getting two of these for the minis. And um, yeah, the player board looks nice, nice and long, I like these long player boards. And um, yeah, we're getting an isometric here with the spaceships, they're looking fairly cool. I do like the dreadnought for sure, and um, the frigate looks um, <clears throat> looks okay and the interceptor looks also nice too in fact it looks like um, my ship that I've got on Star Citizen ordered which is the Ares I want to say not the Inferno the Ares it's coming from I can't even remember if you're watching the edit <laughs> version of the live show I'll put it up here it's an amazing ship. The Crusader Ares, I think, is the name of my ship. It's not even built yet. It's coming to the game in the future, so I've not been flying it. Star Citizen, that is. Um, <clears throat> nice that you can have refineries in space. I like this big time. Um, very, very good. And... Wow, look at these tokens. I mean, this game does look nice. I like how they've set it up. I really do. Look at this. You get one Iron Cannon card. Only one of these. So, you know, you can only fire off this cannon once. <laughs> the player board in space, though, not as long and it, it could have been the same length and left the hero image in the center just to show off the space bit because when you've got cards here you can't see yourself in space so i would have gone for a longer one for space just to um, um, make it look cool all right the aliens then the legion ones here i do like these they're certainly dynamic they look like they're walking in the wind or these kind of i don't know this one looks cool. It looks like she's kind of hovering, possibly, with um, telekinetic power, maybe. Centurion figures, these look mighty, don't they? Look at this big um, 
nail here. It's like a claw. Um, and uh, yeah, fist. These are really strange things. And I think that's his tail at the back there. Hard to see, but I think it is. Some kind of abomination anyway. These cubes are just plastic cubes. Uh, it'd be nice to see if these go translucent, just to pimp them out a little bit. Um, and uh, these fallen tokens and sky beam. Player board of the aliens here. I, I'm not too keen on these yellow ones because if we look up here at the human ones, it's all artwork in the background and this one for the aliens. There's obviously an art in the background there, but um, I don't know. You could certainly put like a black here with around a, a around a 70, 80 percent transparency. You'd still be able to read the text and you'd still be able to see what's going on behind. Um, and you can see here the space things very weird aren't they the rattles look cool the fang looks cool as well the hood figures looks very strange and the cobra figures in space Ooh. so they certainly kind of got they have got the alien feel to them i do like them again these cubes when they look straight plastic they look you know they look like food don't they, they don't look nice looks like cut up beetroot or something like this one Mothership tile, which is a little bit dull, but you are getting in your pledge the Mothership miniature for this. So, um, These dice look cool as well. Again, you can go transparent on the dice. Transparent dice are very, very cool. These Spore Cloud tokens. It would be nice if they had just a translucent something that you could put on the board to make a, um, a spore cloud. I don't know. So even if it was just an acetate you were putting down. Does that sound horrible? I don't know. At least the player board in space, though. You can see these strange units, and uh, it does look great. And notice the alien one in space is long. Yet the human one in space is little baby board. <laughs> There's a little inconsistency going on here. One thing we're missing is what it looks like on the table. And hopefully the peeps that are playing through these can, um, can help you out with that one. Minis look great pit painted, don't they? Um, the humans here, I do like it. You know, giving you an impression. We finally see these isometric here with the the bases as well. I mean, yeah, as a prototype, they're looking fantastic. And P P S C knocked it out of the park here with them. I mean, it's absolutely awesome. I will, I do like them. Oh yeah, I do like them. It says painted by Studio J7, so they've done a, a fantastic job. Certainly coming from these base units. And yeah, it's an absolutely solid title. Um, absolutely love it. And we'll just flash through these stretch goals. The Lunar Refinery got it mini. Great. Um, these minis look awesome, don't they? I love the dead. It's like a dead soldier there, doesn't it? <laughs> More of these Skybeam minis. Um, an upgrade round marker to a miniature, an artifact which we don't know yet, and getting minis for the absorption field. So we're losing a lot of the tokens here, and this is why I said they should have called this the PSC Deluxe game because of these stretch goals. Really, are pimping, pink, pimp, 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 pimping it out. Um. Yeah, so all the, all the tokens are doing this and a series of five how to play videos from the gaming world. So hmm, that's an interesting one also. Yep, they're certainly asymmetric in nature. Come on, humans versus aliens and um, good support here on Tabletopia to test it out. They're very confident of the gameplay is David Turcy. After all, he's becoming very prolific and he's doing good you can see here this is fantastic and now i already want to play one of the other sides <gasps> if i didn't have a go i'd i'd 
I'd want to play it again right now, says Robert. He's gushing over this. It feels like two completely different games that somehow melt together very well. Which is impressive to pull off, says Mike Delisio. And uh, I'm already imagining what I could do, says Ryan from Man vs. Meeples. <laughs> Yeah, you have got here some co-op playthroughs, and it's in three parts, so you can see here it's fairly long. It's going over two hours, and it is a playthrough. You get to see here, though, the uh, minis on the table. You can see how big it does look, and uh, you'll be impressed by the boards. You really will. You really will. So lots, lots of great videos. Um, this is definitely looking like a hot title um, it's on its final hours getting close to a thousand backers and if you're interested in that space and ground combat here PSC have certainly done something nice let's just see if there's a minimum pledge level minis 20 to 50 I think they said that on the page uh, it doesn't say anything does it it doesn't say when minimum pledge hmm no minimum pledge no one's been hounding you about that in the comments strange not to have that in um, I'd imagine it's gonna go to late pledge normally anyway with PSC I think that with Blitzkrieg the game we've got which is great fantastic game Blitzkrieg from these in fact you can order that from them if you come down to the bottom come down to the bottom Blitzkrieg here fantastic solo and um, from David Turtsy in the solo mode <laughs> and um, nice small box that you can pull out and play super quick as it says 20 minutes and um, yeah it was it was a great Kickstarter from last year that one so was Roll and Roam but I, I had no experience of that but Blitzkrieg yeah phenomenal game um, and this also looks stellar too all right moving into our next one is Rush MD this is also coming um, near the end of its campaign it's this is what's nice to do they kickstart a game and then they come back with an expansion instead of here's a game with an expansion because you've got like a second release here it's like you've released your game twice and got two marketing campaigns Plus the game is established now, people know it's better than Kitchen Rush, Rush MD, and um, are considered, it is considered better, so this is the better game. And the ICU expansion here, when we go down and have a look at it, you will see. So first of all, Rush MD, if you're interested in that medical gameplay, certainly in the video game industry, it is... Um, it's a beloved category. The classic theme park on the computers, a great game, and they've been releasing a few of these medical ones which have done really well. It's kind of a fun way of running a hospital. <sighs> these amazing photos. Oh, it does look good on the table. Do, 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 do. I love the hospital beds. <laughs> And um, yeah, so let's quickly go down then. Uh, pledge levels, by the way, it says the expansion here is a simple 28 bucks, but you can get base and expansion for 79. Just talk about ICU stretch goals here, which we'll go down to. It's getting good support. Now, beautiful game board here. I do like it. It, it. All the video games that have done the art like this are in the similar vein of art. It's kind of very cute and cuddly. Don't want to make it look serious. They want to make it look fun. They want to make it certainly look fun. Certainly going in the intensive care unit is a little bit of a scary thing. 
but they have at least made it look cool here. So component cards, um, they are a lot of fun. They're all in this kind of nice theme and um, urine, urinalysis dipstick tiles. Ew. <laughs> um, nice looking beds. And um, I do like these 3D cardboard IV poles. Look at these. <laughs> So you got loads of the cool things, creating lots of these strange scanners here. Nice custom dice, a very, look at this allergy test. There's lots of cool things here uh, to look at. You're getting more, more than you can even imagine. And look at this helicopter, I mean, it's just um, fantastic. If you're into these um, simultaneous games, then this is an expansion to rush or to get both of them. It would be a very good thing indeed. Now, these expansions, though, these are fairly funny. I like the maternity one. That certainly is a good expansion. And the dental clinic. Not sure how that fits into the hospital. <laughs> and you can get the Kickstarter 1 rewards here, which is nice. And um, they're doing sleeve packs for the game, which is cool. Um, some social stretch goals, nice, and it looks like um, the stretch goals have been kicking out. This is the most, one of the most successful that we're looking at today, so it's done a very good job. I like the, the scenario cards in the module here that's coming in. Um, that'll certainly, you know, potentially make the whole game experience feel different. And you're getting difficult patients that are coming in that need two types of diagnosis when they come in, which is nice. Like the helipad tiles, yep. And um, going into the printed box here, and it's going into beyond. I love all this campaign. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? A full campaign mode. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you're getting a bit of a story going on here through a campaign in the hospital, which does make it even more juicy of a title prospect. And um, such a blast, says Rado. Uh, Jen loves it, and I love it too. So um, lots of gushing. Um, Vas Tom Vassal, he obviously loves it too. And um, so, yeah, m much love to the game. I think if there's anything, it does suffer from a little bit of middleware as they, you know, they keep bringing these $50 boxes out and uh, what, what could they have done if they brought out a super deluxe version of it? Um, I don't know, but, but anyway, it's got a good price and 79 for the X. I don't know why there's no all-in to get the pregnancy dental clinic. But yeah. Rush MD. I, I think, you know, it's established. You can check out reviews. It looks very good. Back on Kickstarter with a, a really interesting expansion. And it's coming from Greece. So, out to be your games. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. How are we doing for time? Mm, better crack on here. High noon! High noon! A Wild West tactical board game! Look at the size of this box. It is massive, isn't it? <laughs> now, this game, though, it does have a $1 pledge, which is nice. Buckaroo Pledge, 89. But if you go down to the 119, you get the minis. Now, what's strange about this 120 is, is that you're only getting minis here. If you want minis and the game, then you've got to go all in. And it becomes very expensive. So, <laughs> so why is it so expensive? 
Well, it says nine and above. <clears throat> two plus players? <laughs> One to two hours? This is a strange thing here. What does the box doesn't say anything? Now, these game tiles look... Well, from this image anyway, they don't look as detailed as I'd like. The, the wood boarding seems to be the same texture on all of these boards. And even the sand here looks like it's just one sand that's been put across desert. Desert does not look uniform. It's, it's so strange if you look at any texture in the real world. It doesn't look like this. And if you look at Mansions of Madness, the recent expansion, which was desert, jungle book, you know, it was jungle book had some desert tiles. That is how you do amazing tiles. And if you look at Arquis, which is doing desert also, sand, Arquis is doing fantastic ones too. And look at this tournament map here with, is this grass? I mean, it just looks poor. Um, you get a lot of minis though, obviously, and um, a whole box full of these minis. Fairly small, though, at 28 mil. We've kind of been going above that, is the new trend on Kickstarter, so. Mm. Lots of these character sheets, simpleish art here, like a wanted poster. Um, lots of room underneath for cubes, it looks like. The Zoric Generator Sheet um, looks weird, this, doesn't it? Like, almost out of the theme that you've got an electronic device here. Strange. But here we go. We've got all the minis, the doors, the double doors, the vault, salon, tombstones. <sighs> loot cards, enhanced loot, card holders. Um, so you get an absolute boat ton of stuff going on here. I like how it shows you a setup on the on the table, but the board doesn't sell it to me. <clears throat> Even with these doors and minis here, it just looks like I give it a pass. It really does. And as you go up the pledge here, the stuff it's adding just more and more and you're not really m buffing it out in my opinion so yeah I mean if you really want if you're really into the theme though and you, you want minis on a map dude and dudettes on a map um, then you know that's the only thing that could sway you coming in here because the, the tiles here just look very old. It feels like an old game. Doesn't want me to get past that tile. So there you go, High Noon. The art puts me off it basically on the tiles and um, it is a bit of a shame. It's got a long way to go though so you know maybe they'll update and bring some photos out of what those tiles look like but it's coming, it's gonna be near printing so November. That's high noon, I'm sorry. No pass for me. Crisis at Steamfall and its expansion. Interesting minutes here on the front. Small-ish box. And let's go down. Monkey smoking a cigar. What is that all about? Doctor here, looking like a Doctor of Poison. Got like a Poison Ivy character here. Um, some kind of musical man. A witch, an electronic witch. I don't know what that is. It's, he's like a waiter selling cups of tea. And he looks like the guy starting a race off with a gun. Potentially three hours this game, and it doesn't look that exciting on the table, does it? 
you've got these huge borders here, which is a shame. Because you could have had that art even bigger than it does look. We definitely need some close-ups of the board. We do indeed. The player board is very small compared to the footprint that you've got around it. It, um... But that's okay. It's got a very strange shape here. But I do like the hero image is maintained, though, on the setup. So that's cool. And, um... With the game coming out price-wise, the expansion 24 euros and the bundle with the base at 66 and then an all-in at 108! All available add-ons in the 108s. We'll have to check that out. Minis, though, they do look very cool. I do like them. Ooh, that's a nice card holder. Yeah. I like that they've got like a thematic theme with each character, you know, the green cards and the blue. I do like that. The art on each one has a different background, which I enjoy too. And they've certainly um, done as much as they could with the art here. So yeah, cards looking nice, playboards looking very nice. Ooh. So yeah, component wise looks cool. You can see the map tiles here. Again, they've got this offensive green outside. They could have made it bigger. And um, yeah, we don't know the size of these. And they could have done dual sided boards as well, just to increase the replayability. And um, and we've got some scenarios. I mean, it, it looks okay. I mean. It, it didn't get a full vote from the team, they just weren't impressed of it, but I, I wanted to come in and have a look at it as it was um, an expansion for a, a game that has a bit of love out there. But the expansion looks like it's bringing a lot of ton of stuff. More tiles, which everyone's probably screaming for, we want more tiles. And uh, double-sided co-op cards. Mm. Stretch goals, more cards, more cards, more cards. Look at this strange table with legs on. <laughs> so lots of interesting things coming in and some workshop items and they're getting down to the scenario board. Nice, nice double sided. And um, isn't it interesting how they've done this? And an extra map tile. Yay! <laughs> More stuff will be coming. They've got a bit of social goals going on there. Man, only 46 shares, man. Look, you get an extra map tile for this. A competitive story mode. So interesting. That second campaign we just looked at now that has a campaign put onto the onto the game so um, yeah it does look cool certainly the minis look cool the board setup whoa whoa this is something bigger premium board up oh look at this you've got a nice street around the outside of the city oh man that looks cool double sided also and look at that! This comes in the all in, I think. This is an add on. Oh man, these tokens look awesome as well! So, yeah, you're getting a lot here. The presence is certainly going to look better with that wraparound. And um, so, yeah, some amazing Kickstarter stuff coming in the add-ons here which you're getting an all-in all available add-ons so you'll be getting the deck holder 
the acrylic tiles transparent and the premium board upgrade yeah the street art around the outside looks very cool so yeah you can get this pre-pimped out looking great looking great miss the first campaign there'll be reviews out there but i think it was rolling around a 6.8 or something on bgg i think that someone was saying i don't go to bgg because i'm banned from that site can't even go to the bloody website i'm prohibited at looking at the content but christ of steamfall yeah guess i would guess our green light battle of the boy bands very strange <laughs> what a strange theme okay you're you're 14 yeah you've got to be a girl i don't think any boys like boy bands so you've got to be a girl and you've got to be young oh man who's it appealing to the art here has that anime style And you've got to have three people playing this game, so... Uh-huh. Now, you can see these cards have similar backdrops to them, which is boring art. You really need to do this different... Oh, I keep saying this is a lazy route to go. Because you're not selling me the, the, the theme. I want to see where these people are. What is in the background? It makes a lot of sense. And they've just gone for this backdrop, which breaks my heart. Oh, it breaks my heart. Um, notice that these boy bands, though, they do have like this special car. This is, my, you know, if it's the lead singer or the most famous person in the group. Um, you can see here. Breaking news, cards, and events. Do not tell me these are the back of the cards. Really? Oh, man. It almost looks too simple for a professional board game coming out there, and it looks very amateurish, this art. Mm hmm. So yeah, I mean, look at all your anime art up there, and here, look at these cards. It looks like something you someone's selling in a pub that they made at home. Now the card art themselves of the boys here is pretty cool, but I don't know why they just settled to boy bands. Because there is girl bands also. Maybe that is planned in the future if this one gets successful. But yeah, they've got these strange skills, which is a signature scent. Um, Multi-talented um, stars. Uh, odd ones, vampire hunter and men in black. So... <laughs> So yeah, the card art needs another pass. Look at those badges. Why would you wear one of them? Why would you want one of these? Who's backing $30? Who is it? 70 You really want this? <laughs> You're paying how much extra for those? Five dollars extra for the badges and the, the all access thing. All right, that floats your vote. But yeah, it's screaming retail, and I would say the quality of the art here says it's a it's like a Target Walmart game. I mean, look at these cards. So yeah, what are you doing on Kickstarter? What are you doing on Kickstarter? Well, you know, COVID-19, you know, Jane Con will probably be cancelled, so we couldn't show it off there, so we're just going to Kickstarter. 
And this is what we're going to be getting, I think, this year, is lots of retail games popping up on Kickstarter. And this one has it in a bundle, a retail that's come on Kickstarter. Well, at least it's funded. Yes, it's a retail in Kickstarter clothing, but we can spot you by a mile. Do we recommend it? No, we don't. Sure, the, the box art's not final. The box art's the best thing at the game. <sighs> All right. Bound for retail. Bound for retail. We're doing good here, guys, for time. We're going to get through them all. <gasps> Look at this art. It looks cool, doesn't it? Harks back to, I don't know, 1940, 1950, 1960. Where's this coming from? Um, it's kind of Buck Rogers-esque. And, um, yeah, I do like this. I do like it indeed. But, first of all, what is it? It's a solo game. It's a solo game. It's a solo game. Another solo game. We're in a bit of a... Golden Age with <laughs> solo games. And this one is obviously, look, a thousand backers on here. Now, why two boxes here? What's going on with two boxes? This one's the thrilling tales of adventure. And this one is the super science, super suspense. All right, so there's possibly two what, two games in this Kickstarter. How much are you? 19. Uh, two. The Colony at the Pulp Invasion X1 Expansion. <laughs> I'm so confused. Aliens plus XT. All right, for the two boxes then, <laughs> it's $29. All right, 78 cards in the deck, all done by Todd Sanders. It's stuff, this kind of old retro art of space, which does ha still have a really cool vibe to it. There's a bag, though. Bag for pulling. Cubes, etched dice. It does say a two-player variant here. Pulp artwork is what they call it. Oh, it is 40s, 50s, and 60s, so woohoo! <laughs> super weapons, use your combat skills, diplomacy, and super science to stop them, the aliens, before it's too late. Diplomacy with an alien? Coming in different languages, it needs more backers for certain countries. No, Pulp Invasion is the second in the Pulp series. They have got the rights to Pulp magazine covers, which all look very nice, don't they? This hand-painted art of the future and sci-fi, very nice indeed. A lot of these have obviously affected Hollywood movies and things like that. Cards looking nice. I do like this art. Um, cubes, cubes, cubes. So yeah, another solo game. Um, bag pulling, dicing. Pull, pull, right, it says choose two dice. These are the cubes that you're pulling out. But the the art they're using here it looks very nice. Custom dice. Ooh, look at these beauties. Look at these aliens. <laughs> now, covered in the box. It's all linen finish. Ready, pimped out. And... Super weapons! Planet cards. Nice. 
and it looks like there's a little bit of copying going, going on these cards which is a bit of a shame that they don't do individual cards um, but the, we've got um, little tracking boards it's a shame the bag is plain it could have had at least pulp invasion on the bag and um, It's called Pulp Invasion X1 Expansion. This is X1, meaning the first expansion of the game. Maybe there's going to be more planned. Fairly small expansion with only 23 cards, adding to the 70 plus. And um, traitor cards. Another unique dice. Nice. Well, for the price it's coming at, you get a nice package, don't you? And um, if you've got that sci-fi itch, which I ha did have last year, actually. The itch lasted all the way until to Starlight, and now it's appeased. <laughs> oh, Bolicious says, Fla Florio in the chat says, Are you excited for... Hell. Flavia, what's hell? What is hell? There you go, 30 bucks for another solo game. It's like a, a massive time for solo games on Kickstarter. So, wow, 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 wow. Just go into the chat. Uh, Florio says hi. Are you excited for hell? Hell? <laughs> I don't know what hell is. Hell, 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 hell. I've got so many games in my head, I don't know what hell is. Are you, do you mean show? That's coming out next week. Is it maybe? Maybe, maybe? <laughs> which we mentioned on this week on show coming out yeah we're excited for show absolutely if you don't mean show Florio just let me know what you're talking about and I'll let you know we're doing good for time we've got one more to do yay <laughs> Our manager said, if you cut the music out today, you'll get all these games covered. So, yeah. This Kickstarter is massive, by the way. It is. Uh, the page is massive. Now, if you've got a horror itch, um, this is potentially your cup of tea. And it has a long way to go. This image here, believe it or not, I think is supposed to be a ghost. Well, I'll tell you, she's very very kitted out to be a ghost, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. Victim. Now, ooh, the seer. Now, this game's getting more exciting as it's progressing through its campaign. Um, it is first time backers here from the peeps in Bangkok. They were on Kickstarter, I think, a month ago, but they pulled it and um, they've come back and uh, they've done they've certainly come back with a lot <laughs> in their time look at this little dice tower here and the gold victim olivia terrace Ooh. now let's go down this Bl bl bloody image of this girl with her knickers showing. This is the one that the team went. No, 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 no. Because everyone here at the station are devout Catholics. And to show this image off here, showing her knick knicks here, was like a big no, no. And I don't know why they couldn't have just done this, because the other characters aren't overly sexualized. <laughs> Yes, it is a horror game where you're all running around to get a code of a safe to unlock. Meanwhile, there is a de de 
some kind of demon walking around. Ooh. Look at him with his... Is that his tongue coming out? <laughs> now, these tiles here... Um, and the dice. The dice don't look anything special, do they? Um, I hope these get pimped out in the stretch goals. The hero cards look really nice. They give me a whiff of dice throne which looks really cool with the abilities on the side here and uh, it looks like they've got cubes they're putting on them as they uh, may level up if you look at the map though they've got map tiles here that are that are coming out which potentially is random ma map generator you can see the big safe here that you're trying to unlock um, as well Four. Is that a three player one? And you've got the big baddie here that looks like a werewolf. I'll say one thing about this game though. Victim the, the base as it comes in the box is nice, but when you see the expansion, your eyes are going to go, oh my goodness! <laughs> Six victims, they each have their own minis, which look cool. The boards here for the um, antagonist. Someone's going to have to play one of these. Or do they have an automatic movement? I think someone's going to take over. I mean, look, it's kind of a complex board that they've got. They each have their own mini. Map tiles are coming linear finished. They each have, um, you know, we don't we don't know how we don't know what the unique art style of them is and what it's pulling. We've got like a camp here that looks like the safe. Um, it's like a, a computer on a box, laptop on a box. So potentially a lot of things in here. Um, the dice, will they get pimped out in the stretch goals? We'll have to see. Item cards look nice. I like how it's um, simplified, but art looks great on them. And nice event cards um, happening that you're going to be pulling, adding to a bit of randomness going on there. And um, Yeah, the markers here, transparent cubes, they look nice. Tokens is all based on rule play. You can have a look at the rule book, which goes into more depth of what the characters do. It's actually a pretty cool rule book. Um, find the gate and collect the code. And the code's fairly simple mathematics that you just need to do. Um, and the, the gate puts you in the bunker. And you get into the bunker, then woohoo, you've won. Now you can see this text here is almost covering up her nicknicks. <laughs> Just need to slide that text a couple of millimeters to the left, mister. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see they have their own, they're kind of asynchronous to the, to the hero boards and they are, you know, when are they going to upgrade? Are they going to upgrade with items that they pick up? or stuff like that. They each have their own special ability. Rolita here can cheer up her teammates to take an extra movement speed. They all have their own unique item that they start with. Um, Rolita has a firework, funnily enough. Were she keeping that on her body? Mm -hmm. So you are on the run, you do have start tile, you get to a computer, you got to be rolling and uh, searching, you even need to roll on a search, depends on the look value, all of this, you know, are they, is your character good at decoding, is your character good at this, and you might shout, you need to come over here and do that because I, I can't roll for this. Um, some of the characters can heal though, which is nice. And some tiles, they do have a test. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you must stop on these tiles. So um, there's different stuff happening on the, the cards when they draw. However, though, you know, you're trying to find the gate card. You saw how many tiles they were. This could go across your whole table, or it could just be a tiny board if you find it very quickly. <laughs> Imagine if that gate card is the last one you pull. The event phase. Dun, 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 dun. All right. The werewolf. Dun, bum, bum. The actual um, horrors that they put in the game are very cool as we'll, we'll kind of go down. Oh dear, look at this. Oh, we're getting attacked. Yes, they can. The, the baddie's going to be upgrading as he as he's on the on the map there. And I, there's no way you can you can defeat these. You're, you're on the run. Now, interesting here is now when when they attack you, you're going to get a critical injury, and it says if every victim has a critical injury, then the evil wins. So you might not want to kill people. You might just want it injure each person that is kind of what's happening so um or you can get rid of two victims you can just go and kill two of them but if you're playing like three people you might not want to kill two of them just go and critically injure all of them because you, you know if you get killed you're out of the game Now, let's go down to the expansion because this will blow your mind. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. The Asylum. Look. Ooh. Yes, it has stairs to go up. Uh, this reminds me that we had a couple of weeks ago on the live show, we covered that art game with Vincent Dutro. And I said, where's Vincent's art in this game? Holy! <laughs> it had a similar thing. But here, it's it's even better than Holy. I mean, this, you're going up into different levels of the Asylum. Asylum also has its own victims, and it has its own evil people. Uh, tiles are much nicer now that we're going inside instead of a forest. And it's certainly, it could be a two-phase event on Halloween playing this game. It's cool as you'll be starting off at the bottom of the asylum. And then as soon as you get the stairs, then you can go up and then start drawing tiles for the upstairs too. So I like that sense of exploration in the building that this has. The Victim's Dice Tower. Um, you see the plane that's crashed here. This is part of the theme. <laughs> no. Yes, the dice are getting um, updated. I'd, pre I'd prefer translucent over marble. Um, the widow. Look at this creepy boss here. Gates getting an upgrade too. And um, we've got more horrors coming out. Nice plastic tray. Um, this is the ghost in the beautiful kind of Indian art. The spirit resentment does not fade. Ooh, so this is for the asylum. It's weird, this one, isn't it? Because it's a pre it looks like a pregnant lady. Ooh, and we've got Linda North, the girl. And guess what? We've got a mini for her with a little teddy bear. This reminds me of Last Girl uh, solo Kickstarter. That's on Kickstarter at the minute. We did a video on that. It's an amazing solo game for, with the horror title. And this is just looking like one of the minis that have one of the campaigns on that so so yes if you can hear baby crying yes we have visitors and this is the next one to be unlocked is this um 
one that we're going to tell them we've got more stuff to come so yes you get to see these beautiful minis on rotation tells you a little bit more about each one of them and you get um, nice rotation on all these minis and it goes all the way down and you've got so much to this campaign it's an absolute monster in length get to see the um, minis of the horrors and um, if you wait for the gift to load it there is it going to rotate the widow Ooh. and the doppelganger there Ooh. Minnie's looking very cool anyway we get the story and um, yeah just huge images aren't they on the Kickstarter the girl all right so yeah you're getting fantastic minis in this game I like the fact that it's oh the violinist <laughs> yeah you gotta wait for it to rotate I, I like the fact that the 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 map is random each time that you're exploring the forest the asylum one looks fantastic um, I like the individual powers that each player gets I like the item cards the sense of asynchronous to it I like all the um, the horrors now if you play last girl that's a solo game for horror now victim is multiplayer in a similar sense where you're running around doing stuff up, potentially upgrading your character skills working together in this game in order to escape so so yeah it is very good now 19 days to go on victim it does look super cool and it's definitely worth a look peeps definitely is and if you want to get the base with the expansion whoa what's going on here with the pledge levels oh man it's super expensive isn't it a hundred s dollars all right so it's confused me then seventy dollars for the base and with the expansion a hundred and ten dollars ouch and if you want that um, dice tower then it pushes it to a hundred and thirty dollars so this certainly is an expensive game it really is but you get in nice set of minis nice card art um, two interesting boxes two interesting games in here the forest and the asylum with the three decks looking absolutely fantastic well peeps that is victim highly we do recommend it actually take a look follow the campaign see where it goes and um, see how much it can unlock all right peeps you've been listening to kickstarter radio 102.4 i've been lipstick patty hope you've enjoyed the live show this will be coming off youtube as we cut it off and then stick it onto an edit um so we can apply some music here and there and um apply some things if we need to during the live image so there we go so um thank you so much for watching we will be here next Sunday and if you tune in to this week on next Saturday we'll give you a preview of what games are coming up on the live show as we did yesterday and um, so yeah everyone out there you take care stay safe and bye bye for now <laughs>